the inter in interviews before that you know we would just quit the band <laughs> if somebody would you know leave, but then we figured that you know fuck it man, um, you know why all this fucking work for so many years, and why would we just throw it all the way because of one fucking guy, right? So then you know just kind of figured that okay fuck it you know what we're gonna keep you know we're gonna carry on and uh, find another, another fucking guy. Well, it wasn't even <laughs> difficult for us to find somebody, because I think Rope himself called Alexia and said that if we need any help with the upcoming shows, he could help. Tiedätkö sitä, mikä tämä jätkän nimi on? Mikä vittu, kun mä en oikeasti puhuta, muuttakaa meidän kuvempaa. Kiitti, jenki. Varapa Roopea joku killeri likki. <laughs> Play a little guitar, so uh, so we had a guitar in the house, you know. But when I was about 14, uh, that's the time when I finally got my first lessons, you know, like hooked up with a real, like, good jazz player teacher, dude. And then my mom put me into a you know classic school. Well, that's that's how it started, you know. We had this band Stone, and we actually had a pretty good start on mechanic 
records. There's still a couple of bands that, that exist after those days, like Dream Theory was also debuting at the time. We actually like, played a few gigs on the East Coast with a Testament on the New Order tour. Then we were dropped out suddenly because this next album was too offensive. We never kind of break broke anywhere uh, that that much, except in Finland, you know, of course, we were pretty big. Well, then I hooked up with a speed metal band called Dementia. Gas Lipstick plays in him at these days, you know, he's in the band. Like he, was, he was the guitar player and singer. <laughs> Then I made this solo album, you know, with stuff was supposed to be stone material. I made it with my brother. You know. After that, well, I hooked up with the band Valtari. Their guitar player went into Creator, so I kind of squeezed in and, I don't know, Synergy came along. The Alexi was kind of a dangerous dude, so <laughs> I had to check it out. But then he actually called me up saying that, you know, hey, dude, I just heard that uh, Alexander quit the band and blah, blah. You know, you got all these fucking gigs and festivals coming up and shit. So, you you know, you need a hand. That's what I said. You know, I was like, yeah, well, um, actually, you know, we're kind of in deep shit right now. So if you could help us out, I mean, it wouldn't, you know, it'd be pretty much OK. Hey, 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 hey. First gig was <laughs> then in, uh, in Moscow. I was already fucking sold out and big gig, you know. My boy, I heard, <laughs> worked like pretty hard, you know, get those songs done about, what's the, like 17 songs or something. Then, well, <laughs> pulled it off. <laughs> I was pretty happy about it. Of course, I got really toasted after the gig. <laughs> you know, get all the pressure out, and that's how I became the carpet guy. <laughs> <laughs> And after that, we, we had a, an American tour, first U.S. tour ever. He was there. Uh, we had Japan, and then we had another fucking U.S. tour again. And all of a sudden, we realized that even though he was supposed to be a session member, uh, he'd been around for over a year. It's kind of disturbing time uh, sometimes, you know, like me wondering, that, wow, well, well, I've got to leave the band and let some... Stupid youngster come in, you know, take over, you know, he, he can't play any, any way. It didn't take long until Robert was like truly one of us, because like I said, he's just as retarded as we are and, and knows how to drink, knows how to play, so it didn't, <laughs> didn't take much more. <laughs> this band has definitely gone further than any band before, which I played in. Of course, it's been just amazing time. Good gigs and a good organization, good crew, everything. You know, I think this works like a machine. <laughs> we have uh, good chemistry in this band, so, and uh, that's one, one thing why I like to play with these guys. Most of us have known each other for more than 10 years, so we know how everybody is and we know how to deal with each other. We don't fight, you know, that's the thing. I mean, we're bitching at each other all the time, you know, but that's like in a funny level though, you know. We don't fight. I'm not friends with those motherfuckers. I'm just brothers with them, you know. We're fucking brothers. We're not friends anymore, that's for sure. When, it, when you think about it, though, you get to spend that, 10 months per one year with these fucking assholes. I mean, so you, you better get along with them. Whenever you get on the stage, they're going to be there. Whenever you get off stage, they're going to be fucking there. 
and when eventually after a fucking long and hard night of partying your ass off they're gonna be there well you know sometimes we get so intense by the medium of heavy metal music that we have known even to have exchanged a little kiss during a solo we have a certain thing going on the stage that I, I just go up there, you know, I do my thing, you know, then we're like, you know, woo! And he's playing his thing, you know, I, I double it or whatever the fuck, you know. It, it's kind of like, you know, musical slash, uh, you know, personal relationship going on. And um, the rumor started that we are a gay couple and... The, the, the funniest goddamn rumor that I've ever heard in my life. Special to keep people who are just so serious about it. From now on, we, we just try to do anything just to keep it going. Coming out of the closet, it's not that easy nowadays, so thank you. Touring nowadays, it's a little different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have we have done so many tours now. I, I don't know, even know maybe 10, 15, like long ones. So, so we know how to behave. And of course, it's been the past two or three years when 